It's everywhere. Everybody is fucking there. like fucking super. Well, what is his name? The Sega guy that's like. Oh, uh, yeah. Sonic. What's up? Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, I'm like Sonic. This is my Sonic dude. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so, um, I wanted. I, I know everybody talks to you about yeah. music all the time and everything. So, but I saw the episode on uh, Tanked. Yeah. Do you still got the fish? Oh yeah, of course. Green? Yeah, we had to get rid of the eels. Uh, because they ate my wife's favorite fish, the pink one. Yeah. Yeah, Carmella. I remember eat. that big, yeah. It, yeah, she, she, <laughs> she didn't make it one night. She was going, really? yeah, I guess, you know, it's like pink frosting. You just can't help but eat it. <laughs> can't you know? help but eat it. <laughs> so after I started eating more and more fish, we finally go, you know what, let's get rid of the eels. But we love the tank. You know, Brett and Wade did a killer job oh, on our tank. With the catacombs? Oh, that just blew me away how yeah. you brought that out. Yeah. And Because I'm, I'm a history major. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, holy shit, this That's guy's sick, fucking right? awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a cool concept. I love skulls. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, I do you too, know? yes. I forgot all my rings, actually, at home. Yeah. Uh, I was halfway here from uh, northwest Indiana, and I was like, fuck, I forgot everything. I Because yeah. I got skull rings. And, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but yeah, um... So, uh, what about that, uh, what did you have in the closet there? You had a, another animal. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we had a guinea pig. Yeah, that's yeah. a guinea pig. We, we ended up taking the two guinea pigs back to the pet store because oh, they start you? fighting, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So, so and, uh, some kid has them somewhere. Yeah, somebody has them. They're super famous, though. <laughs> I know they are. <laughs> and you do scores for movies, too. I do, yeah. I just worked with Eli Roth. He's, he's one of my closest friends. Okay. And uh, we did the Green Inferno. I did a, I did a uh, the theme song that for that. Movie was fun, yeah. Wow. yeah. Holy shit. And we're uh, he gave me a call the other day, and we're gonna uh, start working on something new together. Really? Yeah. That's cool. And what else I thought was cool about that whole setup is when you threw the guitar at Brett and Wade. Yeah. Did, was that planned, or did you just really no, scare we, them? No, we planned it, but they had no idea. The, oh. the whole film crew, everybody knew it was going to happen, but they so we set up cameras. But yeah, they had no idea. Because you said, that's how I want to feel yeah, in that, that fucking yeah, day. Yeah, <laughs> and that, they didn't know I was even there when they pulled up. They just thought they were checking out the warehouse. So that is. <laughs> we totally caught them off guard. So. Dude, that was a great episode. Yeah. My son even, because my son got me into that show, and... He even like he's like, damn! Look at his, look at his uh, studio. Yeah. Look at the skull. Damn, yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, I have a. We just launched a killer. Uh, my first retail store out in Vegas, uh, Ashba Clothing. If you go to ashbaclothing.com, that's my clothing store online. But uh, we 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 just launched a 1,600 square foot store in uh, oh, at the Stratosphere at the Tower Shops on the second floor. So, so if you're in Las Vegas. Yes, go definitely check go check out the store. I was beautiful. in uh, Vegas um, a couple months ago for our 25-year Desert Storm reunion. Yeah, all the guys, well, not all the guys, but a bunch of guys. We all got together, like nice. 30 of us nice. got together, and That's man, awesome. what a party! I mean, oh, we're yeah. old now, but what a <laughs> party, man! I live there. I'm <laughs> old and I move there. I'm like, you know what? I'm not that old. Let's do no, this. No, it, it, it was fun, and I could say that um, I, I was hoping to get Nikki in here too because. Crew was my first concert ever. Me too. Was it really? Yeah. What year? I don't remember the year because I was 16. Uh, it was it was uh, the night they filmed Wild Side video. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I saw yeah. him autograph opened up for him in '84. Okay. I saw him in Chicago. That was my first concert. Nice. I can't believe my mother let me go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, because it was Miley Crew. We were in a limo. Yeah. And with girls and oh, it was my God. So yeah. It was a, that was. My first taste of hot chicks and, and rock, rock rock and roll. And it, yeah, I think I think Molly was pretty much every kid's first taste of that. You know that bad boy rock and roll. You know stripper yeah. drugs. <laughs> you know I mean they. I mean of course there's always been drugs and rock and roll, but right. you know they, they kind of took it to a new level. Oh, that was a whole yeah, for sure. Yeah. So yeah. And now you're with you're with Nikki and I you guys are fucking doing awesome. Man. Yes. Thank I you. love seeing your stage show is just incredible. Thank you. Thank um, you. I love your guitars, the flat black. Thank you. Yeah, the the brand new Schecter, uh, the DJ Ashma signature guitars are coming out. And God, I gotta tell you, man, I played a lot of guitars. This is actually my sixth signature guitar with, with, you know, uh, not with Schecter, but I've had Les Pauls, I've had different ones. Um, and man, I finally nailed it. Yeah. Like, like from top to bottom. I mean, knock on wood. I mean, the thing is just, out, you know, the way you they can't play. you can't knock it out of tune. Did you you designed it everything? Everything from head to toe, and then they build it. Yeah, and it's just. They just nailed it. Uh, down to the, 
just every last little like you know nook and cranny of the guitar they actually you know as everybody knows like a headstock on a guitar is the identity of any guitar company and the fact that they you know saw that I was a designer I'm a creative person and they allowed me to design my own headstock for their for my signature guitar so it's really special you know and they they ended up loving the headstock and it, it's like no other headstock so oh that's cool yeah so it's it's definitely my own thing which is cool that is really cool and yeah the guitar is badass when yeah. you showed it on that on the episode yeah. it was like yeah i was like god I'm like what if i get one of those this is fucking rad yeah. yeah yeah i mean i got a couple of them out here and you know there are a couple different colored ones and we did a maple neck with black crows oh. on it and uh Really cool. Those aren't available. No. But, uh, those are just for me. <laughs> now, are you going to sell your guitars in your store? <clears throat> I will. I probably will. I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm actually going to probably start uh, selling like autographed ones like at meet and greets and okay. stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. I don't know. That would be good because yeah. every year we do a rock fest for vets. Yeah. And if you ever like have a meet and greet where you're signing them, yeah. I'll probably come again and we'll raffle it off. Yeah. Yeah. To you? No, no, no. Not to me. I won't buy it. I, it I, no. We raffle. I'm I, just kidding. We raffle everything. I promise you. No, you know what I do though. I'm and, just kidding. And what I what I really do is when we do this rock fest for fest, everybody thinks we do it and we steal the money. We no, do I don't we believe don't. that. I don't believe that. So at all. we have to actually like take pictures yeah. of everything and show them. Yeah. You know? So, but yeah, if you ever do that, I'm getting the wrap up from your, your manager there. <laughs> Perfect. But, um, if, oh, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm getting the wrap up there. Got it, got it. Uh, there he is right there. That's it. <laughs> He's like, get it going, fucker. You know, um, I get his record played on the radio, and it's not number two today. Yes, it yeah. is. <laughs> We're at number two, finally. Awesome. Yay. That's fucking great. All right, I will let you go. Thank you All so right, much brother. for stopping by, DJ. Peace. And there he is, DJ from 6 a.m. Go to his stuff, buy his shit. What's up, dude?